watching Leicester Till I Die TV. afternoon good evening maybe it's even good morning wherever you are in the world i hope you are well this is ltre tv 2 we are broadcasting live to you the wsl women's watch along between lcfc women and arsenal women it is live when it's at the emirates stadium which is a nice twist some clubs don't have it in-house but Arsenal are one like Leicester, they have it at their home stadium we are live bringing you the 2 p.m kickoff of this wsl watch along if you are however we are streaming this on both channels as you may have told some of you may be on LTID tv one some of you may be on lti tv two easy for me to say apparently if you are can i just ask you do me a huge lovely lovely favor if you are watching on LTID tv one just nip on over to the LTID TV2 channel because that is the home of where all things WSL LCFC ladies is for the near for, for the foreseeable future. I'm just we're just streaming it to both channels just to help grow that channel. So I know some of you are very dedicated to LTID TV1. If you are interested in the women's uh content and you want to show support, that's absolutely brilliant. Just do me a favor. Whilst we're double streaming, head on over to LTID V2. Maybe try and watch it on there. Help my watch, you know, my minutes go up on the watching hours. And also hit subscribe and just like both streams. You know, double, double help. Be be a gentleman, be a lady, be a non-binary, whatever you are in the world. How are we today, ladies and gentlemen? It's a big game. The last time these two met. Well, last we're doing quite well, actually. Only one defeat. They were in the top three of the WSL. And they stormed into a 2-0 lead against Arsenal uh, uh, and then con con considered to do Leicester things and, and completely uh, blew that and unfortunately lost the game 5-2. Let's hope if there is goals today and lots of them, Leicester aren't the ones conceding so many. It's going to be a difficult tie for Leicester. Uh, Tottenham were winning the early kickoff, two goals to one against Manchester United earlier, so it benefits everybody uh, involved for Arsenal, at least. I think Manchester United are doing well this season. They're up there, so Arsenal will be happy with Spurs winning. Leicester are a bit off uh, Tottenham, so I don't think the result really affects them. But we are here. Leicester are in a similar position they've been in for the last two seasons. But to be fair to them, they are doing a lot better. I believe they are a whopping 10 they're 11 points clear of bottom place Bristol City. So at least going into the run-in, unlike tensions being high in the men's league for promotion, there is no tension of relegation this season. A much improved Leicester City side going into this season and have continued to do well throughout, despite recent run of forms. Obviously, last time out, it was a cup match. a lost to Tottenham Hotspur in agonising extra time style. We're hoping for a different outcome today. And as you can see, skillfully done there. It is, of course, there is your team scrolling uh, across the bottom. Not too many changes from the side that was defeated by uh, Tottenham in the cup. As you can see, as it's going across the bottom of your screen there, in goal, remaining in goal is, here it comes, there we go, Brad, don't get ahead of yourself, is Cop 
She's back in goal. Captain Sam Turney is in the lineup with CJ Bott, who had a performance to behold in the FA Cup, may I add. Howard, Rose, Rantelaar, Peterman, Kamen, Thibault comes into the team. The only change to the lineup, she comes in for Josie Green. Takadira and Mamiki start. It is goalkeeper Leipzig on the bench. Ail Green, Palmer, Paul Gander, Whelan, not Susan Whelan, <laughs> just to be clarify, Simpson, O'Brien and Baker making up the bench. And this game gets underway at two o'clock. And hopefully, I have my headphones still charging. They're nearly charged, so I'm just making sure we don't lose any power today. They are ready to go. Hopefully, the stream's going to kick in. It does say stream starting soon. But guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, people of non-binaries, you are here. Welcome to the WSL watch along between Arsenal and Leicester City. Uh, it's going to be a tough game. You guys, get your score predictions in down below. What do you think of the side? And are you looking forward to another superb watch along? It was all losses last week for the, the men's and women's. This week, can we make it all wins? It's going to be a tough ask. Arsenal are a fantastic side. Um, but let's see what uh, um, what all you lovely people are saying. Uh, hello, Scott. Uh, I, I'm well, buddy. I hope you are. Uh, I'm doing, I'm having a great weekend myself. My hair, apparently not so much, but go out in sunshine and get gale force winds. That's what I get. Well, hello, Mr. Doubtfire. I, I, the just first thing that springs to my head when I see something typed like that is, hello, dearie. Um, yeah, of course, what Chris said, uh, subscribe to our daily TV too. It's easy for me to say, just read what I've put on the screen. Subscribe to LTID TV2, guys, and smash the likes because we're only streaming to LTID TV1. Why can I say that easier than my own channel name? I don't know. Maybe it's force of habit. We're only streaming here to help grow this channel, get it well-renowned with you guys that maybe knew it existed but hadn't really, like, subconsciously clicked on the subscribe button. So you can go and do that now. We've got about five minutes to kick off. You've got five minutes to transfer over to that channel. Start watching it, the watch along there. Um, or as, uh, as, as my fast, fat typing thumbs pop... The Quatch Along. I don't know what a Quatch Along is, but we were with the Quatch Along before I got told by Chris and re-edited the title. I don't know what a Quatch Along is. And if you're here for a Quatch Along, I'm sorry to disappoint. It is actually a Watch Along. And uh, Chris is happy as ever. His favourite, Tierney, is in the lineup, uh, So he's happy. Uh, hopefully she can get on the score sheet today. It might be difficult. She's playing out at the back. And I'm all ready. Not a sponsored video, but Cornwall one and all. That's the best place to go. Centaur's home properties, Cornwall properties. I love drinking out of this glass. I love the uh, glass. It's a simple pint glass, but it's just a lovely, uh, just a lovely Centaur's, uh, well, Cornwall logos on there and the flag. So, yeah, not, not a sponsored show just yet. But if you want to sponsor it, Cornwall properties, Cornwall ale, whatever it is. I'm happy to do so. Uh, the players are coming out now at the Emirates and, and fair play. You know, big round of applause in the, in the ever-growing game that is the women's sport. You know, the Emirates is fairly packed for this one. Obviously, Arsenal are a well-established WSL side. Uh, they've been in the division far longer than Leicester. Leicester are, are just going to complete their third season in there. And again, they're going to be staying around, well, minus a huge, you know, huge uh, spurt of run by Bristol City, which doesn't look very likely at all, if I am being honest with you. Um, but um, Leicester should be all but secure uh, of their place in the WSL. And as my stream decides to work, my headf headphones decide to connect and the stream goes, well, no. Now you've done that, Brad. We don't want to play for you. And it's decided not to work. So, guys, quickly, we do have two minutes left until kickoff. Probably four minutes until I get myself sorted and the stream starts to work. Get your score predictions in down below. Have yourselves a little natter. Do you think Leicester can overcome Arsenal? To be fair, their game early in the season was the first time they scored past Arsenal, let alone anything else. So, let's hope they can... You know, conquer another mission today and take some vital points off of Arsenal. It would 
no, to send Arsenal fans into meltdown. I'm surprised there isn't a uh, Arsenal fan TV woman's site. You get the meltdown going on there. Um, oh, typically. We are literally a minute from kickoff and the cameras go down. The cameras go down. I'm going for, logically, I'm going for a Arsenal um, 3-1 win. I think we'll score, but I, I, I honestly don't don't see, see us, unfortunately, doing too much in the way of um, winning the game. But I'm going to keep a Leicester head on whilst I try and sort out why this stream isn't working. Um, and I'm going to go say a miracle does happen and uh, Leicester win by uh, two goals to one. I mean, they have been scoring a lot recently, just not uh, not getting the points. They dropped points against Aston Villa, a one-all draw in a game that they dominated. Um, <laughs> I mean, anything like how West Brom was something felt, really. They dominated the game, dominating proceedings, and uh, unfortunately... Uh, couldn't keep themselves in front. Aston Villa nicked a point. And of course, the previous time out before that, a absolute humdinger at home, it really was. Uh, but again, Leicester failing to keep a... Um, a, a couldn't keep a, uh, a defensive strength at the back. Sorry, I'm just... I'm trying to get this stream to work and now it suddenly doesn't want to work, which is always typical. All the best laid plans going wrong. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be tricky at the end of the day, if they can do what they're going to do, um, it will be great. Um, Andreas, I'm, we, we did deserve it, but unfortunately it wasn't to, to, to be, um, it wasn't to be, unless you're a Spurs fan and you, you think you deserve to win it and then, then absolutely fair, fair play to you. Um, Chris has gone three 0 Arsenal. Unfortunately, yeah. Um, I think I suppose when it's not the men's side, you can be a little bit unbiased. Um, unfortunately, guys, the stream service I was going to use was working for about a minute and now just refusing to work. Um, so I'm trying to bring you a watch along. That's what you're all here for. Um. I'm just having some issues. Um, I'm going to watch the game. Now. Okay, well, you can stay here and watch the game and listen to the watch on, but I just cannot get it working. Uh, Chris, if you're in, do you know any links that might help me work? Because for some reason, the pissing eye player just doesn't want to work. I'm sorry, guys. We are live. It's still nil-nil as far as I'm aware. Um, the team news is, 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 is not changed to my understanding. Um, why won't you work? Why won't you just now give me the game to watch? Um, well, this is annoying, isn't it, guys and girls and, and non binary There's 54 of you in. Whilst I'm trying to sort out this technical difficulty, can you, um, can you please like the stream, go over to LTID TV, do to and subscribe to that channel and like it and watch it over there whilst I try and figure out. Just what is the issue with with um, with it streaming? It was literally there, like I said, two minutes ago to kick off. It was there, and then it wasn't. Then they just went, no, you you, you don't want to watch it, do you? And it's like, well, yes, I would, I'd love to watch it. That's why I'm doing a watch along for, please. Um, I'm really sorry for this, guys. This is out of my hands. Let me see if I can at least listen to it and connect my headset. Because right now, uh, no, it's not working, Chris. It's absolutely down. It's just a blank. I get a blank screen. I'm getting a blank screen every time. Um, I try and load it up, even to listen to it, watch it. It won't let me do it. Um, so it's not working at the moment. And there's 71 of you in. What a, what a high to have you all here. And this is what I'm getting. I'm, I'm getting, am I getting a picture? Oh, of course, Chris does one absolutely fine. I do a watch along and it all goes wrong. Why, oh, why do I do these things to myself? Oh, dear. Yeah, the FA player is playing up a lot. And I, I, I can't... Let me see if there's at least... No, there's, there's not even any commentary coming through. 
This is ridiculous. Let me see if I can find another link for it because useless. Useless. Yeah, they have one job, don't they, folks? They have one job. Bring us a game so we can... Um, um, oh, well, Manchester United drew two... Spotify, shut up. Uh, do drew to all. Um, I think that benefits Arsenal more than it, it would Leicester at this stage of the season. Um, I'm just trying to see, is it on anything else? Um, what a great lot, watch along we've got, guys. We're four minutes in. I don't know if there's been a goal. I don't know what's going on. Uh, so, of course, um, is it on the BBC? No, see, it's, it's, it's on, but it's not doing anything. Oh, well, I hope you're having a great day. I've just seen something here. There's a message come through. Um, two seconds. I'm just replying to Chris. Yeah, it just... Oh, God. Technology, eh? you can never count on it for anything. Um... Yeah, um, Scott, you've just messaged me as well. I am I'm using the FA player, um, but every time I load it up, like I said, I saw the players coming out. Uh, they were shaking hands. It looked like it was about to start, and then it just went black screen on me. Um, that that's what I'm getting, folks. That's all I'm getting. Uh, Chris, just so you can see, if you look up, that, that's that's literally all I'm getting for, 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 for no reason. It's all I'm getting. So I'm not sure what... Um, yeah, Chris is trying to sort it out as well, guys. Bear with us. I, I will try and get some form of commentary for you. Uh, that's piddling me off. I'm going to have to use something else to try and watch it whilst Chris sorts out a link for me or something. Um, do you have anything? Do you? Does anything want to work today? Does technology? No, apparently we're just underway at the Emirates. The BBC can't help me either. 88 of you in, please, for God's sake, show me your support and love by um, why I am absolutely losing, <laughs> losing my mind trying to get a simple bit of technology that you think <laughs> it's just turn on a camera and let us see it but apparently not so i hope you're all enjoying this uh, in interesting watch along i want to say because i can't watch along with you <laughs> unfortunately you guys are wanting to watch along and so am i um for god's sake why is it so rubbish Video we play once broadcast. Yeah, I had that, Chris, and then it started, and, and now it just, I got nothing. No sound, you can't listen to it, I can't watch it. Uh, the BBC are useless because they've only got, um, what's it, like score updates and information. Um, Anthony's in, he's just messaged me saying, try arsenal.com. Um I don't know if I'll have to pay for that, though, mate. Um, yeah, it's, it says play order only. I Can I get... It's going to make me log in. I don't think I'll be able to use that, Anthony. I appreciate it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to use it because it's an Arsenal thing, and obviously I'm not signed up to Arsenal.com. Um, I'll try their commentary version just to see if I can give you something that's going on in this game. How ridiculous is this, folks? How ridiculous is it? You've got one simple job to do. That's get your cameras working at a stadium and get a guy with a mic to talk, and they can't seemingly do that. It's just... it. it, it they, could, they could go to bloody, I don't know, Stocksbridge... And go and show us a, a non-league game, couldn't they? Easy as pie if they wanted to put that on the telly or put that on a thing. They wouldn't struggle. But amazingly, when the women's football comes around, they can't organise a piss up in a brewery. Oh, for God's sake. Well, unfortunately, guys, right now I can't do anything. All I can tell you is it's it, it's nil-nil. So, so far, so good for the women. It's just refusing to work. It's actually absolutely ridiculous. 
Chris, give me a thumbs up. Can I just bring you up just so we have something to talk about while it's trying to work, mate? Um, can I bring you in or something? Or uh, you don't have to stay on camera if you're not, or I don't I don't know. I just need something to talk about, mate, because this is ridiculous. It's I... mad, I tell you, mad. I know it literally worked for 30 seconds, mate. Literally worked for 30 seconds and then went blank screen. It's ridiculous. Um, I'm just trying something for you here. It does say on FA Player. I mean, it has kicked off, I presume. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're nearly 10 minutes into it, mate. We're nearly 10 minutes into the game, and I haven't been able to commentate on anything because of this stupid, bloody, ridiculous thing. I don't know why the FA Player just doesn't want to work. Well, it's not just you. That's the thing. Well, that's one good thing, isn't it? Could you imagine everybody else if they're saying, well, we're watching it, Brad? I'd, I'd give up. <laughs> right. Let me just have a look at this. Um, I'm just trying. No, funnily enough, I've just logged into the Arsenal one uh, that, um, that Anthony said. And yeah. um, you can set up an account purely with your Facebook. But... That's not playing either. That's just no, I just did that. It won't let doom. So I think um, Leicester City women have got a corner, just to, to keep you informed. Well, uh, yeah, Chris bringing in his double commentary <laughs> for us. <laughs> Sorry, mate, it's the best I can do. And I can't come on camera because I wasn't expecting to and I'm selling me PJs. <laughs> well, I've done worse myself, mate. Uh, I'm just trying it on the website and not through the app and it's still just... No, it's, so I, I went on the website. That's not not what working. Uh, Sixty three percent possession to Arsenal at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised by that. I'm expect. I'll be honest with you. I am. I am expecting Leicester to 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 potentially lose this game. It'd be nice if they get a couple of goals. Like I said earlier, they 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 um they played them early in the season and they did go 2 a lot. They lost the game 5-2, yeah. but it was the first time they'd ever scored past Arsenal and it is only their third You're talking season. Arsenal are very well established. Um, yeah, exactly. The uh, um, WSL team. Can I just say to everybody, um, 83 of you in, I don't know how many of those are watching via LTID TV 2. Uh, if you're on LTID TV 1, you are very welcome to stay, but why not get over to LT? I, I, you got, I've got, I've got Brad's teeth in LTID TV too, uh, and subscribe there and click the likes. Please smash that likes button. Uh, it will help Brad and this channel uh, get up and running. Um, right, uh, Andrea says um, the FA player plays up a lot. Yeah, yeah, typically. Still saying it's off air on that. Um, choose your favorite team. Yeah, I've signed in Leicester City. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, everybody. No, yeah, it's just, I, I mean, the FA play is just what's the technical yeah. term for it? Oh, yeah, stalk. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll call it as it is. Shit. Yeah, it's always uh, typical. It's not on LCFC player at all. No, which I'm I'm annoyed about because you think they'd really want to um, yeah. broadcast that, wouldn't you? Uh, it's not on any other channel, is it? No, because I thought, oh, BBC, at least I'll have the audio for it. No, it's one of them live updates where they bloody don't do anything and it's just text information. Oh, sorry, I got that all wrong. Last time we um, we lost six two to Arsenal, not five two. I gave us a goal of generosity. Hmm. Um, Hang on. I am just trying ever so patiently. See, no other people just. Anthony, I'm going to, I'm going to need a link, mate. I can't just have information. That's nothing to me. You're telling me it's somewhere I can find it, but if I'm got a link to search it, mate, unfortunately, well. Give me a rating out of 10, guys. You know, we're <laughs> 13 minutes into the game that we can't see. We're going in blind and we're trying to give you a watch along too. Best attendance I've had to start doing it. 93 of you lovely people in. Hopefully all over on LTID TV too. Um, and uh, hopefully trying your best to enjoy this 
watch well i say watch along it's struggle along isn't it chris <laughs> it is indeed oh uh, what the fuck um right let's have a look uh, I'm, I'm trying i'm pressing all my knobs and i've got to say i've got the blinds open so i'm taking a risk for you here um, well this is what this is what happens isn't it you sat gone saurus rex and suddenly your wi-fi goes down Bloody. give us a song brad Keep us occupied. Look, there's 95, 95 or 93 people in. I want to keep them in, Chris. I don't want to sing. That oh, that will scare everybody off. I'll be left talking to just you, mate. Um, unfortunately, folks. Um, no matter where we go, no matter what we do, yeah. we're like Max and Paddy. We're on the road to nowhere with this um, with this watch along. Unfortunately, because there is no other means. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are we? Are we? No, that's what why why what what why are you showing that it's Man City versus oh son off I want Man City games. No one no one's here for the Man City aren't and put that on the BBC, put that on your bloody watch along. No, um, no. Um, Peterman has almost played in, but it's just ease off as ass um just ease off the ball in the Arsenal area. It's a good start by Leicester, according to the BBC. Uh, 11 minutes in on the BBC. We've just hit the big 100. Hello, 100 of you. Unfortunately, the reason there's no commentary is because nothing wants to work to stream. So if you want to make me feel better, please, if you're on LTI Lee TV 1, please head over to LTI Lee TV 2. First of all, we'll start watching it on there. Second of all, click subscribe. Third of all, like the channel because this is driving me absolutely insane. I was all prepped and everything, even with a misspelling. Um... More than 40,000 at the Emirates. Great. I'm glad BBC can give us the information. I just wish <laughs> I just wish the FA player could oh, get I have, I have actually found another link, but you have to pay. Um, oh, and I love you, Brad, but I don't love you that much. Yeah, I don't blame yeah, you. Yeah, the FA website is down at the moment. Oh, well, that, that explains it. It's typical as well, isn't it? Two minutes before. Uh, It's again, Anthony. Just send me a link, mate. I understand that you're trying to help me, but you're telling me it's on a, a channel to you subscribe and show. It's got. I, I need to know what it is. You, you're not giving me a link, mate. I need a link to know what it's to. I need a link to know where to go so I can at least listen to it and and try and give people some form of a watch along because the useless FA player is about as much good as a chocolate teapot on a radiator in the sun. Oh, to the FA player, get your act together. Come on. <laughs> You've had all day to sort it out, check for your bugs and that, and, and we're 16 minutes into the game, and it, it's just wasting away here. I might as well see if I can watch the, the lose versus Crystal Palace game, because at least I'm like I can bring you some form of watch along, but it's, it seems like the whole entire internet is down. Um, oh, God. I just, I was going insane, Chris. I'd, you know, if you need to go, do let me know. But um, that rhymed. I didn't know it. Um, uh, as far as I'm aware, know, guys, that is your live score. I have no way to bring you any other updates other than congratulations. Uh, there is apparently a whopping 40,000 at the Emirates today. And oh, just in case you didn't know, because BBC only cares to put one of the two games on that are on right now. Man City are nil nil with West Ham. Um, guys, this is literally all, all all I can give you right now is updates as and when they arrive. Because yeah, the the FA player decided don't want to work today. Um, I wish that was the case for everything. Um, Since it's up, uh, but. Um, well, I was hoping, you know, I was hoping, guys and girls and, and, and non binaries I was hoping that at least the audio would be working because, you know, it's just a mic. It's just a commentator. You don't need anything for that to work. But uh, there you go, Anthony. Thank you very much, mate. And I'm sorry for being stressful, but I'm trying to. Right. Oh, my God. No, I don't think this is going to work either, Anthony, because it's... Oh, God. 
typically the best attendance I'm going to get for an opening to a watch along, and we can't get any watch along. I mean, I've I've got um. No, Anthony, that's miles behind, mate. The, the, the thing you've given me is... Just, oh. <sighs> Guys, bear with us, everybody. I appreciate you all staying in, trying to join a watch-along that isn't watching along. Um, But we are not having a successful venture today. <laughs> I mean, normally it's our gremlins. You know, norm normally... Um, it's us with the gremlins, isn't it, Chris? Normally, um, you know, normally we are here going, oh, well, it's it's putting technical faults. It's this, it's that. No, it's just it's just nothing wants to work there, end. So, unfortunately, if you want to send an email or complaint, I don't know, contact the FA, the FA player, the app makers, um, because it's currently their fault that you're getting zero commentary from me. Um, Can I just say that we have broken a record here for the number of people to come into a watch along without a watch along? I know, right? Yeah, we, we, we have, we have, haven't we? Thank you to that is, uh, it will not even let me sign in now. The FA player is, like I say, fecked. It is, and it's typical. Big game, a big occasion wanted. Uh, low shoot. Close from Amiki, apparently. The Japanese forward has a strike goal, which forces a good save from. Zinsberg, the burger, the Arsenal goalkeeper. I'm giving you a watch along through updates, folks. I'm giving you a blind watch along. I'm like, I'm waiting for someone to whisper the intel in my ear and do it. Oh, well, I might as well give me neck a rest uh, and uh, let these off. In other score updates, this bet might as well make this full, uh, football focus over here, Chris. In other updates, half time between Everton and Nottingham Forest, uh, Adrissa Garner uh, Gaze, 25 yard strike has Everton in the lead in what is a radiation six-pointer there over the trees. So, if nothing else, you're getting some updates and something to talk about. Um, but, Chris, I mean, being since we have no information, I've got no updates. Um, but so far, so good for Leicester. 20 minutes in, and it, it seems they've not conceded a goal. So, going well. Um Hopefully they can continue it. And from what I can tell, Chris, um, both uh, both attacking sides here. No, Leicester aren't trying to soak up the pressure and and, and see this out. Uh, you know, try and get a draw. They, they, they've attacked already. Mamiki's already come close. The, the Japanese international we signed in the January transfer window. Um, but um, Leicester seemingly on top in the opening twenty minutes. Well, I mean, look, it's been a great season for Leicester. Let's not take anything away from that. But uh, they are kind of settling down into probably where we expected them to be uh, towards the bottom. Um, but look, they're not going to go down. And, and I think at the moment, with everything that's going on at Leicester uh, and, you know, the management situation with the women, uh, I think where we are is as good as it's going to get. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you'd have told me, I mean, they currently play in this game. Um, you know, you know, you told me before this game, Leicester are going to be tenth, but they're going to be. Oh, Chris is gone. Go, bye, Chris. Bye. Uh, you know, if you told me Leicester were going to be coming into the open with can close the season, and he's back again. He's like a magic man. I, it, that was me. I pressed the wrong button. Then uh... we will. Well, at least you know how to correct it, unlike the uh, the, um, <laughs> yes. the FA player. I'm going to be two seconds, Brad. Just bear with. Yeah, no worries, mate. Hopefully you can... Mate, maybe Chris is building a telescope so we can, we can stream the game to you live from, 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 from the studio within. I don't know. But yeah, look, if you told me at this point in the season, there's not many games to go, Leicester would be 10th, but they'd be well clear of relegation. You told me that at the start of the season, I, I, I'd have just snapped your hand off for it. I said, thank you very much. Happy days, another secure uh, season secured in the WSL, which of course is the height of women's football where you need to be uh, and where Leicester want to be playing it. I mean, they work so well to get up from the grassroots all the way up through the divisions, but then completely tore the WSL championship uh, apart. And then two great escapes, you know, at this point last season and the season before, 
they 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 were struggling. They were really struggling. And as if by magic, he's dressed, he's ready, he's finished eating his cereal or whatever he was trying to eat or whatever it was, <laughs> and he's here to join me. Chris, not the ideal circumstances we wanted you in on this lovely watch along. You was hoping for a day off, but of course, the FF player to the rescue to ruin your day off and not have to, not have to come on stream. I know, it could be a late night. Um, <laughs> you are lucky because my most uh, pressing engagement, and if I can just have my B&Q moment, you um, can tonight. Tight, shameless plug if everybody wonders what that is. Um, I don't know what's happened. We've gone down from 101 to six. Uh, watching it. <laughs> oh, I've now got 96, so I don't know what's going well, maybe on. Maybe I'm watching it on a, a different ah. Uh, I think I'm possibly just looking via yourself. Get over to LTID TV2 now and watch it there and subscribe. Yes. We're but, only on LTID TV1 to grow the channel. Get yes. over there while you don't still can. Forget, Go back to LTID TV one tonight at seven o'clock because we've got a preview of the Southampton game on Tuesday. We don't usually do previews for the midweeks because uh, we can't fit them in. But we've been able to get uh, Jack from uh, Match Day Vlogs, big Southampton channel to come on. And we're going to have a battle of the shirts tonight. Who's got the worst shirt, him or me? Uh, we will see tonight. And it's not this one before anybody says this is one of my favorites. So, so but uh can I just say, I will be wearing Leicester City's um, warm-up kit tonight as uh, representing Leicester in the Bad Shirt Challenge. Um, so, uh, but yes, look, I, I, I fuck, bloody FA player. It just, I think that they, 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 somebody's, somebody's uh, wrapped bitten through the cable or something because it should yeah. be showing. It should be. But any updates for you? Well, uh, I can tell you that Manchester United women uh, at the 12 o'clock kickoff, they drew 2-2 uh, with Tottenham Hotspur. They were 2-1 down. They got a late, late equaliser. They did Manchester United. And if you want some positive, positive news, Chris, we're 22 minutes into the game and it's still nil-nil between Leicester and Arsenal. It's seven minutes, however, into the Man City-West Ham game and it's 2-0 to Man City. All ready, so it could be going a lot more. He's out, more he's out, more he's out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, Dakar out. Blame Dakar if anything's going wrong with your team, just blame Dakar. <laughs> yes, cruise ships just sank in the Indian Ocean. Dakar's fault. Um, yeah, that, that's the way to go. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm just trying to bring you anything I can, uh, here for information on football, uh, and regarding the women's football. Uh, in the Women's Championship, Reading won the game earlier against Dur Durham Women 1-0. Birmingham, Sheffield United, that game's only 20 minutes in, it's 0-0. Lewis versus Crystal Palace, which I would say is also live on the on the FA Play, but nothing's live on there. Now, that is also 0-0. Southampton are 1-0 up against London City Lionesses. Uh, what a name, what a mouthful. Who decided that title? And Sunderland Women and Charter Athletic Women also 0-0. So, could be worse, Chris. We could be 2 0 down inside eight minutes, like uh, West Ham are to Man City. Is that um, the women or is that the men? No, that's the women. That's the women. Oh, yes, it is. You're quite right. You're quite right. Um, I mean, blame right. Dakar anyway, still. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, anyway, Leicester City. Now, now, can I just say, I can give you some form of commentary, um, but it is purely off. Um, a, a a not a live stream, if you like. It's off one of the uh, the other things I used to show up on the on the yeah the graphics yeah the yeah graphics yeah. Thing, yeah. But Leicester are on the attack at the moment, but they've lost yeah. it. To Arsenal. I mean, currently Leicester uh, in the WSL. I've just brought the table up here, Chris. Arsenal, Chelsea, and Man City consider themselves in the title race. There is. Arsenal obviously now playing their game in hand. Well, Man City do are, are playing their game now. Chelsea have a game in hand. 49 points for Man City, 19 games played. Chelsea, who have been involved in, in Champions League action, that's why they're not playing. Um, 18 games, 46 points. Arsenal, 19. Obviously, this is live to currently what they are. They're on 41 points. It might be an ass for them to still be in the title race, Chris, but they will want to beat Leicester today, who have jumped up to eighth, have jumped up to eighth, Chris, in the in in, in the in the league current standings, um, by that solitary point. Um, 
So they'll be hoping to get a goal and maybe settle the nerves. It might be a long ass. It'd still be six points off Man City playing the same amount of games. Not with obviously not many games to go with Chris. It's a bigger game for Arsenal than it is for Leicester because Bristol City six points. There's only one relegation in 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 WSL. Chris six points. Leicester, even if they were to lose, would have seventeen. They're not going to lose an eleven point gap. In you know they're, they're already safe, Chris. Um, I believe because there's there's you know there's only three games to go after this. So the, the, they can't Bristol be City. I was reading the report the other day, and it said Bristol City are. Um, not technically down, but they, you know, they're as good as, let's be honest with you. You know, we said that about Rotherham, didn't we, for weeks and yeah. weeks and weeks. Um, so, uh, yes, I mean, Bristol City are down. They've only won one game all season. I've said that, we've only won four. But look, um, yeah, I mean, he said we're up to eight on goal difference. And I mean, that says, I mean, last few seasons, we've been really punished. And all right, well, I think maybe we've had a couple of bad results, but we've gone to these big teams this year and, you know, we've held our own, haven't we? Yeah, we were very unfortunate against Manchester City, uh, yeah. only losing 1-0 at the King Power. Um, we got a draw away at Manchester United, um, in the cup, uh, in the league, and also, uh, also, Chris, it on their way to the FA Cup semi final, they had a tough. <gasps> Sorry, mate. Uh, That's are you like... okay? I mean, we haven't, we've, there's nothing to spoil here. But, no, go for it, mate. If uh, you see anything I do before believe, I do, uh, we are now losing 1 0. Oh, well, cue that to happen just as that happens. I got a little bit excited because I was trying to see that Leicester were away and it's kind of got nil no, one. Oh, Leicester. I have seen it. Ahead. I've seen it here. It is a goal by England's very own Beth Mead. 28 minutes. It's a brilliant move and an excellent goal. So. As things stand, Arsenal are going to be getting three points. It's taken to the 28th minute, so we lasted longer than West Ham did, holding oh, out against oh, one of the top Brad, sides. Brad, 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 Brad. FA players working. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Don't don't get my hopes up, don't. Oh, yeah, I see how it is. Must be Arsenal fucking own, will not it, Chris? Yeah, I <laughs> see how it is. Yeah. yeah, Arsenal score and it starts magically working. Justice for the little teams, I say. Um, we have nothing at my end though, mate. Still not working. God say, wow, well, Chris got me all excited. And my FA, well, it's working. I am watching it. <laughs> well, I've just closed mine now. I'm going to reload it and see what happens. At the moment, Arsenal are on the attack down the far side. Arsenal well, kicking left to right. You feel um, like Arsenal now would try and push the point and get themselves a second goal. 30, min 30 minutes gone, it says here. Um, just going up to 31. That's Arsenal all I'm getting. Red tops, white shorts, white socks. Uh, look, let's, look do in their, let's do in their orange, which we haven't really won, men or women's, much in that uh, strip. It's a corner. Well, you said it, not me, and I agree, mate. Um, I'm always cursed to a, to a, to a kit. Um, and, and I've had a debate because people say orange and then the commentators say it's yellow, but Adidas uh, uh, and the spirit sponsors, uh, shirt sponsors have confirmed it to be uh, orange. So I want yeah. that argument with somebody. Yeah, That's not uh, yellow what? by any stretch of the imagination. Corner taken. Yeah, Chris will have to bring your commentary right now at this moment. Because Are you okay for me to do that? Go for it, mate. Because look at my look at my look up a second. Oh, look, right. I'm still getting this shit. Well, 31 minutes gone. No, um, you've done very well. 96 of you still in now. It says, "Welcome back, everybody." Um, yeah. At the moment, Leicester are losing one nil. 32 minutes gone. Here. It's a throw into Leicester. No, it's not. It's a throw into Arsenal. Um, like I say, Arsenal kicking from left to right in their home strip. Leicester in the third strip of orange, black, and uh, orange socks. It looks like I'm watching Wolves. Uh, oh, Andreas right. says this still isn't working. You have got accounts, have you, by the way, everybody? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. 
headed clear by oh, Leicester. Yeah, Unfortunately, I don't know quite as much about the Leicester team as uh, Brad does, so I can't um, tell you the players' names or anything. So, um, apart from two I like on the Arsenal. Oh, it's a no, it was a foul, but it's a loud uh, play to carry on the referee. Um, and then a good block by Leicester, but it still falls to an Arsenal player. It's on the near side, and it goes central now. Three of my favourite players are playing today. If two of them, unfortunately, are for Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> and the only Leicester player is the only one that you know as well, Chris. Admit it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, <laughs> no, I haven't seen your comments either, um... Anthony, I've got to be honest with you. No, we just don't like you, Anthony. That's why we blocked him out. <laughs> yeah, we don't like Arsenal fans oh, or sure. Bristol City fans or Southampton fans. Any other or any team that plays in red, basically. That's the only reason Anthony's here. That's oh, awesome. Arsenal through here. Can they get the ball across? No. Good defending there by Leicester. It's gone out for another, yet another corner for Arsenal. The moment, I've got to say, it's not even been in the Arsenal half while I've been watching it. Yeah, I mean, how, how miraculous, isn't it? That when Leicester are on top, it wouldn't work. No, no, the cameras don't work. Oh, the, <laughs> Arsenal, the Arsenal fans own the FA player, don't they? Yes. Was, was McCabe it was who ran for McCabe for Arsenal. Um... Uh, I'm just trying to restart my, my mobilia device. No, yeah, you probably right. support them and all. You probably Born support them. It's a high he one, comes into the box. Oh, the goalkeeper punches it. Not a not a brilliant punch, but uh, it's punch. Still, still... Oh, did she keep it in? No, 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 no. No, it went out. Um, what's That's happened to our it. German goalkeeper? Uh, she got injured. Uh, she wasn't making the team for a while. Um, she is on the bench. She has been on the bench for the last couple of games. Um, obviously... I've only seen a couple of these games and Cop's been in goal for both of them. She's not really done particularly anything wrong, to be honest with you. Oh, no. And that's the thing. We've both got... We have now have two starring international players because um, she's a she's a Finnish international. And yeah. before you say the... Uh, before you say the talk, the, the talk sport joke, no, she's not Finnish. I meant a nationality. Um e Anthony Niemi joke there for those that don't know. Um, so she's struggling to get back in the team, but it's a good, it's a good headache selection to have. Yes. Oh, through ball there from Arsenal, but it was going nowhere. Two Leicester defenders just let it run through to cop. You see, I do know two. Mine players. still won't work. Thirty-five but, minutes. I, I can't gone. do this. Correct. I'm not trying. I can't do this. It won't work. The the looks to be unfortunately for Leicester. Yeah, losing the ball way too easily there. It's back in. It's back in the. Uh, and it's in the Arsenal half for the first time that I've seen this match. But I have to say that that's due to the fact that it was a bad pass <laughs> from an Arsenal player. But there are no. only looks at the moment. I've got to say, I hate saying this, but um, there only looks to be one team in it. That's a good ball through from Arsenal there. Um, Oh, good defending though by Leicester. Just didn't have to do much, but just kept an eye on it and was got a foot in the way. But Arsenal still with the ball, but a bad pass there, and well, bad not a bad pass, but badly controlled by the Arsenal player, but kept it in. Um, I'm not sure even if Arsenal have got a goalkeeper on the pitch because I've not seen her yet. It's not gone that high up the that end of the field. Um, but look, this is that there is a golfing class obviously between the two teams, and one that you would expect, yeah, of course. And and given Leicester have acquired, um, experienced, I'm going to throw my phone so far across this room in a minute, it doesn't I'll do I'll try and catch it, I could do with another phone. Well, you don't want this one, mate. It's slow, it's unresponsive, and it doesn't do anything I ask it. Um, which is what my parents say about me. Slow on respect. <laughs> yeah. uh, can I be uh, honest with you? The thought did pass my mind. Um, well, Arsenal coming just, forward again. She's unmarked, but closed down very, very well by the left of defence. That, that, oh, that, well. uh, I'm sure. I don't know who it was, but um, I'm going to say it was Tierney. 
Well, you know what? Everybody's turning. Why Chris is commentating, everybody's turning unless he knows the other two Arsenal it's players. Tierney to, it's Cop out to Tierney, back to Tierney, plays it across to Tierney, forward to Tierney. Do you know what, Chris? That actually reminds me of, well, there was like about 18 Dembele's in the world of football that everybody was going to sign. And uh, I, I, I half wanted Tottenham because they had they had one of them oh. and I kind of wanted Tottenham to sign all of them just so you could hear the commentary go, it's Dembele to Dembele. Chris, Beth unfortunately, Mead, I cannot get the FA player to work. Beth, Beth, Beth Mead. Well, I'm okay here if you are with me. Yeah, um, you 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 do what you want, mate. I'll keep trying to fix this. Back yeah, Beth crap. Mead is... Well, you could just sort of... I can ask you various things at the time. It looks to be a very, very well-attended uh, match. Um, Over 40,000 registered. That's, that's fair play. I mean, it would have been very easy post-Euro. Uh, and I know we have, it was a year late because of COVID. Oh, hang on, Leicester coming away. They've got a bit of space here now, down this near side. Tierney to Tierney. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, running. Ah, they have got a goalkeeper on. Leicester actually in, atta in the attack now. Oh, lovely ball through. Go on. The Chinese lady chipped it across. Back. Me, and it's him. in. Oh, she had to save it there. Oh, it was a shot there. Uh, I don't know which. We've got two Chinese players, I believe, or are playing for the team. There was one of them took it right down to the byline. I thought it had gone out. Got the cross in. Um, just showing the replay here. And oh well, I don't know whether that was in or out. To be honest with you, well controlled by Leicester, and it was a lovely chip. And she really had to make the save. That was going in for Leicester, and they've got a corner from it. The goalkeeper was called into action. Sign of a good goalkeeper, in fairness, done nothing for thirty odd minutes. Uh, corner comes yeah, in. Uh, corner comes in, but it's like Arsenal are going to uh, going to clear it uh, uh, with ease, and there could be a break on. But that was a good move by Leicester. I've got to say, uh, but, well, the best, the only move by Leicester I've seen. But they well, did look threatening then, and and but for a, a, a jumped and a one-handed save from the Arsenal keeper, that would have been one-one. Good, well, good play by Leicester. That should give them confidence. The danger of the scoreline only being 1-0, Chris, no matter how good a sign is, is you always feel you're in with a chance. Oh. And as long as Arsenal don't, you know, as long as Leicester can keep themselves in with a chance, as I'm yeah. getting that desperate, I'm trying to load this up on my Xbox because I can uh, my Pete, headphones. Peterman was just, uh, just fouled there by Leicester, just inside. Way Chris learned a new name. That, 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 that deserves a subscription. <laughs> only because... TRD. She was sat with her back to the camera and the camera showed. <laughs> no, no, no. Every, every one of you is in there. Chris learned a new name. So what you have to do now, um, because... It's that was out. Time. I'm sure that was cross was out, you know. No, but, never, never. Oh, no, I mean, she, I say, she didn't have to jump high, the Arsenal goalkeeper. Um, how did that... Uh, how how did dog, if you're Good wondering good. why Chris is on here yeah. and commentating and I'm not, it's not working for me. Chris has got a stream. I haven't. So, typically, I am trying Hello. my best. Hello, Scotland. How are you doing? Uh, <laughs> probably better than I am trying to sort this out. <laughs> you know what will happen, Chris, don't you? I guarantee you now, and if I call this right, right, you lot, all 98 of you, get over to LTID TV 2, watch it there. We want zero viewers on LTID TV 1. We want them all on Oi. LTID TV 2. <laughs> don't go that far. <laughs> I'm picking it up here, Chris. Oh, hang on, Arsenal there, chuffing it through. Oh, no, it was a bad cross. She went past about three Leicester players as if she wasn't there. Chipped it in the box, but it was a bad chip into the box. Um, how you doing, Doug? Um, looks like you're doing to the Premier League what Leicester are doing to the uh, Championship, I'm afraid. Yeah, and unfortunately, though, Doug, I don't see you turning it uh, Oh, lovely around. play. Lovely play by... Chris? Chris is frozen. Yeah, I could. I've got... Uh... I was going to say, I'll, get, I'll give up. If Chris is freezing, then we're all doomed. We're all doomed. I'm not freezing at my end. Do you mean me on here or...? You froze my end, mate, so it's probably just me. Uh, well, you see, you let me in your end, that's what happens. 41 well, minutes on the clock. This will work at half-time, and I want all 100 of you to go over there and subscribe to LTID TV too, and, 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 and spread the love. Watch it on both. Click, have both tabs up. Get it like you're, uh, think you're VAR at home. Get both tabs open. Yeah. Watch us on both channels. But make uh, sure you subscribe to both. Um, and don't forget, in, and including yourself, Doug, join us at uh, 7 o'clock on 
LTID. Oh, that's a foul, surely. Yes, well done, referee. Uh, Russo, that's my other one of my other favourite players. Yeah, got um, a free from Manchester United, Chris. That was a bit of a coup because she had a good euro, didn't she? It was. Um, and Arsenal haven't had that good a se- oh, like the third. They're doing better than Man United. Then they have won the League Cup. Uh, Doug, join us at seven o'clock tonight. Shameless plug, B and Q moment. Uh, seven o'clock tonight on LTID TV One. Where we'll be doing a preview of and Leicester just won it out of play it be a goal kick to Arsenal. Uh, join us on LTID TV One seven PM when we will be doing a w- preview of the Southampton game on Tuesday uh, with Jack from Match Day Vlog. So not done anything for a long time with him. So nice to have him back. Even even me even me trusted bloody. Xbox has let me down for this. This is rubbish. Chris must have the only working FA player in the whole entire world. <laughs> yeah, everybody tune in to me. <laughs> yeah, go on, Chris. You do this watch on. I'll go to bed, mate. See you later. Bye, <laughs> <Yeah>. everybody. <laughs> uh, Leicester have it now. Uh, it's going to go back to the goalkeeper. Yes, it is. And... There's literally about a minute and a half to go on my clock. Um, well, mine won't bloody work, will it? It's bloody pathetic. I hate, I hate, I hate the FA player. This like is I say, I, I have had this. I have had this. Oh, oh, oh! They've lost it at. Oh no! It wasn't a. It wasn't, I thought they were going to give a foul. Arsenal players going mad there. It wasn't a foul though. Um, Leicester now breaking. Oh, what the hell was that? Um. Leicester broke away down the far side. She played the ball, but the, the Leicester player just didn't have the legs. I think it was Tierney, actually. He didn't have the legs to run past the Arsenal player. And it's a throw into Arsenal just inside the Leicester half. Well, welcome along. This is the WSL Watch Along Show. Yeah, brought to you by, by Brad. <laughs> given to you by Chris. <laughs> <laughs> streamed by absolutely nothing and nobody because Chris has got the only working FA player in the whole entire United Kingdom, it seems. This is because... very true. This is very, very true. Do you know what? They'll take the pit, they'll take the piss, Chris, right? Because this wasn't the case earlier. Let me just come back on camera because I've been trying to fix it, right? Oops, sorry, ignore that. Right. Sorry. Yeah. Right. It wasn't on that screen earlier, it was one of them listings. Now right. it's there. You think, oh, maybe they're fixing it. No, no, no. they're still they they still can't work it. I have had I have had many 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 a time when um, the the mainstream hasn't worked. You know, for the for the men's games. Um, yeah, the problem is, Chris, with the men's side, with no disrespect to them, that you know that you can find a million and one links, can't you? Hmm. And there's always people we know we can ask who who will. Gladly one minute, give us sorry, one minute of stoppage time. By the way, yeah, it looks like Leicester are going to come in a goal down here, and I haven't. I, you know what? I haven't even edited it because I've been that annoyed. I've, I've not been stressed, Chris. I've been annoyed. I've been annoyed that the stupid the one simple thing we're trying to advocate and promote a women's game, and we've got. Everything for men's game, but the women's game, we get one thing and it's uh, there we go. It's uh, hard, and it's hard. it just won't it's work. Half time now, it's half time. Well, there we go, folks. Leicester are one nil down. I've done absolutely nothing to contribute to this watch along in terms of commentary. Thank God the Lord Chris has a. Do you have a camera, Chris? Is that what you went out the window for? Did you send a telescope up to the stadium so you could watch it? <laughs> I'm bouncing um, it off. I'm bouncing it off Telstar or whatever it is as we speak. <laughs> yeah. I didn't oh, even do it in the time I tried to figure it out. Um, it's one nil anyway at half time. I, I'm 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 happy to to stay. I'll have to go probably at the end of the game, but I'm happy to stay if you need That's me. That's fine, Chris. I'm going to need somebody to do it. I tell you what, Chris. Go and take yourself five minutes because thank you for telling me it's half time. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to go scream and shout at technology as if it's my phone's fault that the the, the FA is a bit very cool in what it does uh, and hopefully get something working. Um, so I can... Mamiki! That's another one I know. Ah, 
from Miki, you know, you know, you're just in the back of her shirt as well. Yeah, I will be back. I'm going to because I haven't got a drink or anything because I just came and plonked myself down. So I'll just come on and say hi, Brad. Yeah, and then it, and then he came on and went and he saw me go. Please, Chris, come and save this watch along. Um, I'll keep I trying, be... guys. We're going to go for a break. Um, yeah. Stay tuned. Stay subscribing to the second chapter uh, LTD if we do, and we'll see you in a few. Indeed.
Hello, welcome back. Uh, so the teams are both out for the second half. Uh, I think Brad is still um, trying to fill his toilet. Uh, the Leicester City coach just having words with one of her subs there. Um, blah, 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 blah. Yes, oh. folks, it's that sort of humour. Um, <laughs> yeah, the players... Yeah. Really, this is ridiculous. I still don't have a stream. Still will not work. Guess what? Well, I, I've, I've got anyway? it. I've got it full here, mate. Do you want me to continue? You're going to have to, mate. I'm afraid because I'm about to send a, a, a tweet that will get obviously ignored. But so, uh, Leicester it's... about to kick off the second half, and we're away. And uh, Leicester yellow. Sorry, not yellow. Brad will tell me off. <laughs> Orange tops, black shorts, not white, black shorts and uh, yellow socks. Looking very much like Leeds United. Um, what the bloody hell am I saying? Looking very much like Wolverhampton Wanderers. Kicking left to right. Just uh, I can't watch it. Goals. Chris can't speak. Great combination. <laughs> yes. Um, and Arsenal, obviously, in their red tops, white shorts and white socks. So... Uh, we do honestly. We have definitely got a look of uh, Leeds, of, 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 of Wolves there. <laughs> I've never heard. Don't you say a language. word, mate. Your your quatch along. <laughs> my quatch along was that again. If a hundred and four of you are here wondering for a quatch along, unfortunately, I don't know what one is, uh, and uh, you, you, unfortunately, you're going to be um, disappointed. Yes, oh, anybody that likes a good quatch along, <laughs> we teased you, I'm afraid. 
Right, so... Well, it turns out the FA Player app itself doesn't actually have a Twitter account. Very disappointing. I was so uh, hoping now, to tell On the attack uh, oh, early yeah. in this second half, but couldn't control the ball there, and it's gone out for a throw-in to Arsenal midway into their own oh, half on the far so. side. So... I'm trying everything, folks. I don't know how Chris has got the only working uh, FA player in the in the land of I football. Have. I have free kick to to Arsenal. There, a foul on Russo. How very dare you! Um, I don't we think don't... it was a foul. Come on, she fell over. You fell over. You fell over. Look, I've got yeah. me. I've got me cider. I'm fine. I'm here. Down the far side now, Arsenal. Kick it into the box. Oh, it's not cleared. Arsenal has still got it. Oh, is that a penalty? Arsenal shouting for a penalty. Well, the fans, in fairness, were shouting for the penalty. The players didn't. It was more of a shoulder barge. By the, uh, and I, I, I know that you, can, you can't criticise Tierney for that. No way was she at fault. I won't have that. Chris's favourite getting in trouble. Who would have thought it? <laughs> Second sold shoulder barge. Can, I, I, can I just ask? Can I just ask you, Chris? What are you watching it on? Are you watching it on the app? I'm watching it on the website. On the website. See, I've tried yeah. both. None of them want to work. Mine didn't until obviously thirty odd minutes. If anyone but else that is has having... happened as well with the uh, LCFC player for the men's. It's just starting to really great me, Chris, to the point where... I just, just believe it, mate. You're just winding yourself up now. So, well, at least Chris is here, folks. Arsenal at player, least... me, turns on the box, gets it back. Down this left-hand side, Arsenal, um, Minamino. Is it Minamino? Have I said that right? No, it's Takarada, the other Takarada one. Takarada and <laughs> Puts a foot on it. Mimiki. Um, Are Leicester wearing black armbands today? Now, I think she might be capped. I thought uh, Tierney... Oh, Arsenal threw! Shot straight at Cop, though, and she just went down on her knees and scooped it up. No, they are definitely wearing black armbands. In fact, all the players are wearing black armbands. Oh. I don't know who's, who's passed away, but RIP, whoever you are. Oh, one second. Well, Chris has been the commentary hero. Unfortunately, folks, that's all I'm getting. That's 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 all I've been getting. Oh, and now he's asked me to sign in again, but I was already signed in, so I don't know why it's doing that. That's all I'm getting, folks. So this is why Chris is here well, to I, say to be honest me. with you, mate. I'd just leave it now. You're just winding yourself up. <laughs> I'd just like to be able to do what I came here to do. You know what I mean, Chris? Yes, like, this yes. is the channel that I'm yes. trying to do, and I'm having to rely on you because the stupid no, crappy. You don't rely on me, mate. We are we are a team. We are a oh, team. Oh, no, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, hi, we want to advocate oh, for football. Halfway we into the Arsenal half, but we do have a free kick. Ooh, maybe there's a chance. I mean, it's still 1 0, Chris. There's always a chance, isn't there, for the. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. Sub out. Oh, offside. Oh. That was. Like, that was like. Who's going to stick a foot out and get the foot on it in the Arsenal box? But it was offside. It was Cheers. offside. Cheers, Anthony, because I need a hug right now. I need a hug. It just annoys me. It, it, it really does, because I really want... I was really looking forward to this. No, it was also offside. It was a foul. Sorry. Both. Uh, both, let's, both let's just... concentrate on the game now, Brad, and uh, try and cheer you up with a Leicester goal. Let's hope so. Can the women Have provide... Have we come back no. many times from being behind this season? Um, Not really. Uh, in fact, we've been quite good at having a lead and gifting it away. So this isn't the easiest uh, expectation for Leicester to go and do so. Um, but then again, you know, stranger things have happened Indeed. in football. We do not know. They could go on and... Um, they could go on and get a point here. And it'd be a great point for Leicester. Like I said, up until yeah. recently, they hadn't even scored past um uh they haven't even scored past Arsenal. They did earlier in the season in what was a 
6-2 defeat, but they did go 2 0 up in that game. So yeah, maybe if that was um where, where did we where did we finish last season? Uh last season, I believe we finished in a position um we were we before down, so tenth, was it? Tenth, I believe yeah. so. But that um, said though, that said overall it's been a lot better season for Leicester. Oh, ball over there, but now Arsenal have got the uh the legs that Leicester haven't. Yeah, 22 um, games. I mean, last season, Chris, Leicester uh, have already beaten the points they set for last season. Leicester finished 10th at, in 10th place, five wins, one draw, 16 defeats uh, with 16 points on the board. They finished five points clear of Reading, who were relegated to the, uh, to the WSL, uh, to the Women's Championship. So... Even now, only a point uh, extra more, but they would still have three games more to to go. And don't well, ask I me. I think who... as a season, looking yeah, at what, all around what, what, I'm an Arsenal well, coming Chris. forward here. Oh, good! Somebody got the foot in it. Oh, oh, Arsenal! There, it came out to them. She she took a kick. The Arsenal play. It was on this near side. Um, the break was on the far side. It was crossed over, came out. Unfortunately, to the uh, 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 Arsenal player, she took a swing at it, volleyed the ball, but it was over the top uh, in the end. But no, as a season, I think the whole season has been, you've got to say, an improvement. You know, we were all right. We were top for the first couple of games, um, and that's just the way maybe that the games fell. Um, but. You know, <laughs> it's been nice to be in the top half and, of course, a semi-final. Yeah, it has. It's been much improved. I mean, the quality of the players brought in, the style of the play. It, you know, it, I talked about this on previous watch alongs. It's integrated throughout that they want all uh, all Leicester players to be... Um, the, all Leicester teams to be playing the way of the first team. So they play it out from the back. They try high press. They try to get them behind it. And... and on other occasions, Chris, that they've had, they've had certain results that they really probably should have handled better. Uh, most notably, the, the, they went one 0 up against Brighton, then they got, then they went two one down, and they pegged themselves back to two two, Chris, and then switched off for two minutes and allowed Brighton to instantly get themselves yeah. back in front in that game again. Villa. Away from home, yes, but they dominated the game, Chris. They got the lead, they were in control, and then they switched off and they conceded. That's really been the story of Leicester's mid to end season. Switching off at yeah. vital po points have cost them. Well, look at the season oh, no, poor ball into the box. If you look at it throughout, Chris, it is a much improved Leicester City season. It might not yeah. look much on the points and scale of things. But like we said, if Leicester can find an equaliser here, they'll jump up to they'll jump up to eighth in the league. So it, it it is what it is, and this is a hard game, Chris. Like I say, Arsenal need to win this to keep a hold of any mm. hopes for 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 a title. Um, so this you know was what, always going to be. Arsenal have got a free kick. What did she do? Stick a tongue out at her. I don't know what they got a free kick for there, but it's a free kick, dangerous position. Um, on the near side, just outside the penalty box, chipped it into the box. Oh, goalkeeper came, not talking to the defender there, and it's Arsenal shooting, but it's over the top again. Yeah, the goalkeeper and the defender's not talking there. Russo, unlike her, who is a bit of a goal scorer, manages to put it over the top. Yeah, the goalkeeper came out, and then the, the defender went, no, I'm having that. She may have been better off leaving it for the goalkeeper to collect. Um, it would have been an easy collect for her, but no, yeah, overall, like you say, better season, uh, I think for, for, for Leicester, where we're not going to go down, so it's a third consecutive season in the Premier League. Next, no, this is the third, isn't it? Yes, this is the third, yeah. uh, we're so for be a fourth, fourth consecutive season. season in the Premier League. I think that's a record for Leicester. It, well, um, they've never been in the WSL until three seasons ago, Chris, and they're yet to get relegated. And if you, if you ask teams like Reading, Brighton, uh, and, and and Birmingham, who have who have all gone up and down through the division, obviously Bristol City this season, barring a miracle, it looks like they're going to come up and go straight back down. So it tells you that 
you know, by hook or by crook, Chris, scrimping and scraping, finding a way to get enough points on the board to keep them up is testament to Leicester. And it's it's kind of like a little bit oh, like three on the far side. Oh, oh, good keeping. She stood, she stood strong. The uh, did cop. Um, it was a lovely ball through to the far side, coming down the right. Arsenal, she wasn't picked up at all. Played it into the box. It was a chip from the Arsenal player in front of the Leicester defender, but it was, in fairness, straight at Cop. Um, but Cop didn't hold it first time, but still managed to uh, to to get it at the second attempt. Sorry to keep well, jumping in on you. Sounds like um, Arsenal are pressing to kill the game off and get the second, yes. uh, which you would imagine would would yeah. would do that for for Leicester and and give Indeed. Arsenal three points. But again, Chris, we're talking about this and this game. Okay, this game's still got a way to go. It could still go badly for Leicester, but taking a lead against Arsenal at the King Power. Yes, they lost that game heavily in the end due to Arsenal's quality, but draws against Manchester United. Beating them in the cup, cup group stage to get to the FA Cup knockout. Yeah. Um, oh, well, I've got a news update for you. The access to the surface is forbidden since specified partners is blocked. So you must have all the information and and, and bloody wormages and bloody leaks on your thing everywhere going because it's I've given up on it. I, I don't. But, I don't know what I've got. I don't know because I say it wouldn't play. It wouldn't allow me to play for. 30 minutes now it has well it did after 30 minutes all i did was re-log back well signed in and logged back in well i'm gonna keep trying on the side but yeah they've had a better season they've been a bit more structured oh, it just says the corner to arsenal on the far side which to see this corner out 58 minutes on the clock the arm goes up chipped into the box oh cop came for it Oh, she's down at the moment, is Cop. I uh, don't know what's going. Is that going to be a free kick to Leicester? It should be. Let's have a look. <laughs> it was one of those where she went up for it, Brad. Um, and I think she was sandwiched between the Arsenal striker and the Leicester defender, Tierney. So, you know, you uh, she doesn't look happy anyway, but she's up. She's got the... So, yeah, she's back up. She's back up. Sorry, Brad. Um, no, it's all right. I, I it's jumped right. in when there's something to report. But, um, no, no, go for it, mate. At least yeah. you can do it. Um, but, but, yeah, Chris, I mean, yes, that you, you would look at some of the results and go, oh, well, maybe, maybe it's not been that great for less. Realistically, it has. It's a much improved side, a much improved performance. Uh, performance was maybe a little bit of naivety trying to go for certain games when they should, probably should have done something better. Um but um I mean let me just oh, go away. Uh, I mean you, I think if you've got I mean I think Leicester's ambition I think it has got to be staying up. That's always got to be our, our, our aim, to be honest with you. Yeah, uh, has, I think the, the semi-final has. was was a was a very good bonus and it's very nice, created a bit of history there as well. Uh but you know, you look at these teams like Arsenal, they've been professional in a bigger way than we have for longer, if that makes sense. You know, yeah, when we exactly. were professional, we didn't really, really go professional until King Power got involved. But, um, you know, they, they've got better setups. Um, yeah, well, they've been doing it longer. Let's just put it that way. Um, it's exactly. And more expectation on them than it ever is. For, go on, for Leicester. Was. Oh. Um, where was I? I was going to. I'll do something. Uh, oh, there. Arsenal through. The crowd now. This is going to be too surely. No. Oh, Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal. The huge crowd were all getting excited then. It should have been 2 0 there. Played through. And well, as it, give me for not saying names, but the commentator isn't, so I can't repeat it. Uh, but, um, had, well, two players had the chance to shoot, one pass to the second. When the second shot, it was straight down the neck of of Cop. So, well, Leicester getting away with it, and who knows? Maybe they'll have a bit of luck like the men's did because West Brom were similar. They had glorious yeah. chances, didn't take them. I mean, Chris, I'm just going to run you through. I mean, we talked about the league table in in there. 
And, and, and this is what's been different for Leicester this season. They got off to a flying start. They beat newly promoted Bristol City 4-2 away from home. Could have been a banana skin. Bristol even took the lead in that game, so did it. And then a team that's been in and around them all three seasons they've been in there, they beat Ooh. Everton. Lovely. Oh, lovely ball from Tierney, it has to be said. Down that right-hand side, Leicester play completely unmarked, but the cross was, was disappointing. Fact to you, well, At least they're trying. But yeah, they got off to a far better start. I mean, I look back over the other fixtures and it was 4-2, 6 nils, 5 one. So when they're getting beat, they were getting beat badly. But now listen to the start. They won the first game of the season. They won the first home game of the season against Everton, a team that's in and around them in about ninth or eighth place. They then beat Liverpool in the in the FA Cup group stage. They got a brilliant draw against Manchester United away, a team who they play in the last of the three fixtures they've got. They only just lost 1-0 to Man City. They then did lose to Liverpool 2-1. And that that this is the hearing them kind of results, you're going to hear it a lot throughout. Obviously, early in the season lost 6-2 to Arsenal. They got a point at home against Tottenham. They then yeah. beat Manchester. Great save from Cop. Great Cop is, diving yeah, save. It's all play. Arsenal at the moment. They're having the chances. That Leicester chance, maybe you should release the cross earlier. The Arsenal defender wouldn't have been able to get back. But now they've just turned defence into attack. A lovely left-footed shot from the right-hand side. Uh, but Cop diving across, put it out for a corner. And that's why back she's you. in goal. Back you in the studio, Brad. Cheers, Jeff. Um, <laughs> Unbelievable. You know, <laughs> Cheers, Cammy. But you know they, they beat Man City in the in in the FA Cup group stage. They, they, it was two two on the night. They won it on penalties four three. Again, Chelsea. They've never really done anything against. They've got battered nine ones, eight ones. Silly, ridiculous scorelines. Bit of a goal flesh, but they were a little bit more respectable. Only right, losing five two. This is where their seasons probably failed to be a little bit more spectacular. Chris, two two draw against Brighton. You know, a team that's been down at the bottom with them, they haven't done. They then lost to Man U in the Cup, but they'd already qualified. We know that because they, they got to the semi-final. They then couldn't beat 10-player 10 men West uh, 10, 10 player West Ham. They drew that 1-1. One, one. Hey, they smashed Derby County 4th nil in the fourth round. But again, maybe the Cup competition was a bit of a, an unnecessary, whilst a, a brilliant, but an unnecessary distraction because they failed to get on the score sheet um, against Aston Villa. They lost 1-0. That was at home as well. They then went back to the group stage of the FA Cup, smashing, uh, oh, sorry, of, of, of the WSL Cup by smashing Everton 5-1. Beat them in the league, so they did a double over them in the league. Only just lost 2-0 to Manchester City at Manchester City. Smashed Birmingham 6-2 in the, in the fifth round of the FA Cup. Did the double over Bristol City, beating them 5-2. So you see where Leicester are putting in performances, maybe not always getting results, but, you know, mm -hmm. getting something from it. Unfortunately, crumbled against Chelsea and lost that game 4-0. Beat Liverpool in the quarterfinals. And then, obviously, um, didn't get the best prep then, Chris, going into that semi-final. I think maybe the managers at the time and some of the players maybe could be said that they had their eye on the semi-final because they lost to the semi-finalists Tottenham in the league 1-0. Um, they then give, give gave away the lead uh, and a point uh, against Brighton. They lost that 3-2 at home. Aston Villa threw away the lead twice. Sorry, Norman has just come on for Arsenal uh, in replace of uh, Bakinistus. Apparently, she collapsed in the game. Oh, um, I didn't know that. So I'm glad yeah, to see that uh, that's a good, the case. A good cheer for her when she came on. Um, yeah, hopefully that is the case. And then obviously before this game, Chris, they agonisingly lost in extra time to Tottenham. So it's only been recent weeks that their form's really fallen off. They've not really been able to capitalise on points and, and secure wins. But to be honest Here with you, Chris, they have three games left of the season after this one. Going off what you've seen probably so far and what I've just told you there about their season, Chris. They've got Manchester United at home on the 28th of April. They're away at West Ham on the 5th of May. Um, and then they end the season at home to Liverpool. Leicester being safe, B 
because they're so far ahead of bottom club Bristol City. So there's no drama involved for Leicester in, in even this game. Oh. There's none involved. You can see them still getting three, maybe four points from that, couldn't you, with West Ham and Liverpool, respectfully. Maybe not so much Manchester United, but having said that, they got a draw away at Manchester United. This would be like the Liverpool game at the end of the season at home at the King Power, Chris. They should be playing with a lot more freedom with the knowledge that they can't get relegated. Uh, I mean, here, I mean, they're not, they're not playing badly, you know. I mean, you know, from what I've said, you probably think that it's all... It is all Arsenal. And in fairness, it's probably 80% Arsenal. But Leicester aren't awful. You know, we're not we're no. not defending at the last, you know, I mean, there was a lot more last minute defending in the men's game yesterday than, than there was in this. But you are talking, you know, you're up against teams. I've got it. I'm on screen. Hey. I've finally joined you guys. It's only taken me 67 minutes. Yeah, nice of you to pop in for the last 23 minutes, mate. I know. How, how kind of me to turn up. Like you said, Chris, uh, first of all, great attendance uh, in attendance. You know, I know it's a big stadium, but the fact that over half the Emirates is full for this WSL clash with and a great travel and support, Chris, as Arsenal have it on the right-hand side here, and that's a horrible cross going nowhere. And uh, I could actually dead on for time as well. Oh, there you go, then. 67.35. Uh, I'm at 67.42 now. Oh, so, you're about a second ahead of me, then. Yeah, well, no spoilers for you, Chris. Don't worry if we do score, but I actually get to watch it, guys. I actually get to do my job and bring you the watch along. Thank you so much, Chris. Obviously, stay with us, Chris. We might as well talk about it as we go along, but. This is what Leicester did against Man City earlier in the season, Chris. I watched that game. It was live on BBC. I did a match review for it afterwards. Go and check that out after this, guys. Uh, next season, they will be coming back fuller. We're trying to get into the swing of things for here, the end of season with the women's thing, but they will be coming back uh, more regularly next season. Chris, they did this against Man City and, uh, and Manchester United, and obviously they won one and only just lost the other. So this isn't something that Leicester fans aren't accustomed to seeing it. And again, Chris, dangerous scoreline. One, one all, uh, one nil is a dangerous scoreline to be having. If you're Arsenal fans, the, the you know the thirty plus thousand Arsenal fans that must be there in attendance, I'd say probably close to thirty seven, thirty eight thousand probably there are Arsenal fans. They'll start to get a bit nervous because they'll know what Leicester are capable of as they've proven throughout this season what they are capable to do. Has they, Arsenal they will want a second goal, Arsenal? They will, and Leicester are defending you Leicester are playing, You know, they could be playing yeah. Bristol City now. It would still as be... Arsenal through well defended Leicester. Sorry, Chris. Leicester, yeah. through, Leicester defended well there. Okay, you know, you, you, one nil is never safe. No, it's not. Um, a lot of people say, oh, 2 0 is the harder thing to defend. Bugger. No, it's not. You've got, no, you've got a two goal two, advantage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'd rather have a two goal advantage than a one goal advantage. Trust Leicester, let, trust us and ask Leicester fans yesterday. We were more than happier at 2 0 than we were at 2 1. Uh, but it is, it's a funny old game football, isn't it? And all it takes, Chris, is, and Leicester haven't been without the chances from what you've told me in this game. Watch this be the most boring. 20 minutes of my life now. Well, now I finally can watch the flip, flipping thing. But they've had chances. They forced the keeper into the save. And Arsenal players will know in the back of their mind that if Leicester were to create a chance here, as another bit of resolute defending stops, thwarts another Arsenal attack, but it's only as far as Arsenal. They feel they can nick a point here, the Foxes, but they have to set out this chance. It's a number two. She crosses in. It's a good cross in. It's dealt with by Leicester initially in the second ball. One turn his header does get it away. Um, but Arsenal have it now on the left hand side inside the box. The cross comes in, nobody can meet it. And Leicester gratefully get it clear over to halfway line. They try and launch a counter, but it has come back to Arsenal. Great concentration, great focus by Leicester, and doing what they need to do, Chris, to keep them in this game. They do. Um, look. If it ends, I, I, I used to coach um, my kids' uh, football um, team and they'd lost something like 5-1 at the start of the season uh, when I was assistant. 
I, I was assistant, but I took over or just shot here. Yeah, I, shot I, I took over Collins for the return well. leg, and I think we lost two one. But it was seen as a victory because yeah. we come on so much. Um, and I think you know, having lost, was it six two? Did you say in in the earlier? Yeah. Uh, Game. Yeah. So if it ends one nil or even two nil, and it's away from home, that's got to mm. be seen as an improvement. Yeah, and, and again, you look at the results um, against everybody. It's only Chelsea and Arsenal that have that have really stuffed Leicester. Chelsea four nil mm. and, and five two. Arsenal six two. You know, it's only three results where you you've looked at Leicester. You'd look at Leicester season and go, God, they've been really, really battered. The rest of the games they've been in, and like I said, um, good defending oh, there. Cops down Leicester, here, getting, oh, cops down. Yeah, cop is down. Um, she's looking for some treatment. It's her right leg, seemingly giving her some stick there. She's indicated to the physio who's going to come on. But yeah, Chris. This is the drastic improvement. If you looked at Leicester from even last season, and Ooh. obviously uh, more naturally the first season, you could understand it. But even in the second season, Chris, they were getting beat by anybody three, three yeah. nil, three ones, and I they were. So. I think that was from an earlier injury because she was just stood there. It was good defending by the Leicester player because she just shadowed the ball out of play, and then Cop just waved and just went down, didn't she? Just sat down. Yes, and but this it's from an earlier. Incident. She was injured earlier in the season. Yes, yeah, she she was, and, and that's when Yanina Leipzig, the former Bayern Munich uh, yes. goalkeeper, who Leicester snagged uh, from from Bayern Munich earlier in this summer, making a move permanent from a loan move to a permanent move. She may be asked to uh, get herself worn up and stretched on and come on here. Be, dis yeah. be obviously disappointed for Cop, but this is. This is the great thing about Leicester's transition this season, Chris. It's not just the quality on the pitch has improved, but the quality in 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 the starting eleven and the squad in general has improved because we can now, you know, Leicester could could take Cop off even if it was just as a precaution, Chris. They don't want her to get injured and be out yeah. for a long time. They would put on a, a international in Janina Leipzig. She looks like she's going to be okay to carry yeah, on, or is she getting taken up. off? No, she's been stood up. I think she's no, she's staying on. She's staying yeah. on. Um, and and um, just to sidetrack because you did say about uh, Bayern there, and this is a complete sidetrack. Just while they're not they're not playing, um, uh, Harry Kane uh, never won anything at Spurs. Went to Bayern Munich. Guess what? <laughs> Well, that that is very true. You can take the man out of, uh, out of Tottenham, but you can't take Tottenham out of the man. No. They are in the Champions. And oh, I have a chance here. Edge of the box. Poor kicks going into the shot. There it is. There's the second goal. The goal they've been threatening all game, Chris, as you said. They needed it to be honest with you. It's Ernst and Oud. But Russo, so the former Manchester United player, she arrived on a free. It was a goal kick that was played out from the left. It was hit to nobody. Um, the Leicester midfielder uh, didn't react well enough to it. They sprang the trap, did Arsenal. They pressed well. Mamiki was dispossessed. And it's a number, it's the number 23, uh, Russo. Who Poor defending I, by Leicester, in fairness. It was. They didn't react. They weren't switched on enough. I think that uh, disruption to the injury. And Chris, something that Leicester were actually praised for by Taggart yesterday in the men's game. Sometimes you just got to go along with it. Sometimes it's yeah. just better to send it along. The Leicester probably given the injury that, um, that they, they, they suffered there, Chris probably should have gone along with it as it is. They didn't ask for pounds. They capitalized. And uh, as you can see there now, Russo, who Manchester United fans will still be absolutely seething that she was allowed to leave on a free to Arsenal. Arsenal offered money. They were willing to break the transfer record to bring her in. Man United said no. Um, it is something that happens in football. They don't want to sell to a rival. And I think, well, that's stupid. She's going to go to a rival. You might as well make some money off it. I remember Lewandowski did it when he was at, um, I think he was at Borussia Dortmund. And Bayern Munich, he was in his last year's contract. 
They offered a lot of money for him. He wasn't going to go. He wanted to go by Munich. And they basically said, we'd rather lose him free from you than get your your money. And it's like, well, that's just stupidity on my um, on things. And yeah. man, you must be kicking themselves. I know they may not have been able to keep her. Well, obviously they didn't because she went. But get money for the player as well, especially in this day and age and FFP rules, Chris. It, it seems ludicrous to let someone go for free. Um, Arsenal fans will be happy because... And probably more relaxed, Chris, because that has really just settled the game. And and maybe, you never know, Chris, there's still a little over 14, 13 minutes to go here, Chris. But that it probably was coming. has You done. can't say that it wasn't coming. I feel a little bit sorry for Leicester, but they literally, yeah, nobody at the back. They were they were carved open there by, by, by Arsenal. And that's the, the difference in class between the top teams and, and, and the bottom teams. I'm not sure which of the was it Japanese. Um, uh, Japanese I believe it was era. Lost the ball, uh, um, but yeah, look, it, it's it's no. I haven't watched the game. Um, it, it's only what Arsenal deserved, unfortunately. It is, and we both predicted this could happen, but it, uh, it could be three. Oh, what a save! Surely, oh. yes, it's in at the third attempt. Yeah. And now the right Mead gets a second. Yeah, and now the floodgates have well and truly opened here. We were hoping, you know, we were talking at 1-0, Chris, that they, you know, they hadn't really suffered any beatings apart from Chelsea and Arsenal. And sadly, Chris, it looks like Arsenal now have opened the floodgates, they've settled the nerves, and they're going to tear Leicester apart. This could be a very slow and painful, you know, last 12 minutes. Cop, yeah, you have to feel sorry for her. She's struggling with an injury, clearly. Maybe she should have gone to go off. She made a point-blank save and then tried her best to pounce on this ball, but me got there first, and it's, uh, it's a quick-fire double that has sunk the Leicester City ship here. The Gunners have been on fire. <laughs> How many cliches can you get in, mate? <laughs> I will try as many as I can. <laughs> Um, a titanic performance from Leicester here, and not for the right reasons. No, they uh, set it off on a nice journey, didn't they, Chris? But they have hit the ice. Like we started well, and you just see the difference between the established. Let's, let's, let's not say the big clubs because this is the women's football, so it's completely different. But the established club, WSL clubs, the difference, and it seems to be the fitness as well towards the end of the game for the Leicester players. Yeah, and I also feel that while Leicester have brought in a lot of experience and, and more out older, as they give the ball away on halfway here, oh. this could get worse, but Leicester get get lucky there and get the break of the ball falls back to cup. They have some older players as well, Chris. Cayman's a Belgian international. She represents Belgium still, but she's 34, I believe. You know, they've gone for experience as, as, as well as um, not just on the international circuit, but in terms of playing football. I mean, she was, Cayman was playing for Lyon in the Champions League the season before. So it's great business by Leicester, but you need a couple of seasons to embed that in. And whilst you can imagine a few players will change next season, I think next season's where Leicester will make a defining impact potentially for themselves in this WSL because you need a year to settle down, don't you? You have to remember, Chris, they made a wholesale of changes in and out. Um, well, you've think... also got to think we've been in the Premier League or Women's Super League, sorry, uh, three years, three seasons now. We've had three different managers, if you don't include, you know, caretakers for different oh, reasons. Hold on, Leicester could be through here, they could get a constant uh, flag up. It looked up, Peterman did look up. She's so annoyed at herself, she's gone down just to get the cramp. The offside flag was up, and that's just kind of told the story of Leicester, hasn't it? Should we not? Oh, look, she, was on. she was on by a country mile, linesman. Get your eyes tested, love. Go to spec savers. Go to an optician. She was on by a mile, mate. But you, but you look at that though, Brad. Whether she was on or off, cramp coming in. She hasn't got the legs. The speed that the Arsenal defender was coming back. She wouldn't have got a shot in anyway because the Arsenal Without defender she... was like Mo Farah next to her. Finally, eighty minutes. Finally. We're making substitutions. What the hell have we done? For 80 well, minutes, we've got players out there with cramp, a goalkeeper that's injured, and that's she's finally man, making substitutions. Whoa, well done to that woman on the, on the side of the pitch for Leicester. 
Yeah, Is she also, Brendan Rogers in a dress? Well, maybe, maybe, but uh, you know, I'm sorry, but Chris, it's ridiculous. Unfortunately, Chris, this is what happens when certain things, um, well, I don't, obviously, we're not going to talk about them, but things happen where a manager goes, Chris. You see the difference between an assistant manager that maybe has it in them to step up and one day become a manager and branch out on their own as Arsenal themselves make a double change. Now the game is all but done, um, Chris. For me, it just shows that maybe she's better off as the assistant manager because she made she made schoolboy errors in 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 the in the semi final. Chris Rose, who has come on in this game, wrong. Chris. Don't get me wrong; she's come up and she didn't ask for the role. No, granted, <laughs> she's doing it. You know, I mean, they're taking Russo off now. They've well, made they've five substitutions. We've made two. They're winning three nil. Who yeah, needs it to should make be the other way around. Now, whether she's an assistant manager that's good enough to be a manager or not, as fans, we can sit here with no managerial experience at all, no time on the coach. Only experience I've had is teaching 11 year olds and 10 year olds. And we can yes. all see that substitutions need to be made. What are they doing? I, 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 again, I, I agree with the question. As, as she's, she's taken Peter Manoff for, for Wheeling. Again, not Susan Wheeling. Don't worry, the board of directors isn't on the pitch. <laughs> Don't um, <laughs> but, yeah, she she did the same in the semi-finals. She, Leicester will want her up, and I think maybe she let the time and occasion get to her, but she took off arguably Leicester's best player um, as Leicester win their probably the first or second corner of the game. Hmm. And again, Shannon O'Brien, she looks, I don't know if she came on, uh, she came on, but she looks like she's hurt already. These hmm. players, um, it questions the depth and quality because they've got some quality on the bench. Yes. You know, yes. they just brought on wheeling and that. So why That's aren't these it, players though, getting rotated enough? That said, we you know we criticised the male team yesterday in the choice, and look what happened. We know Very nothing true. ourselves, do we? Oh, the keeper didn't get there. And your favourite player, Sam Turney, with a header, it looks like, couldn't get any direction on it in a clustered box, Chris. And again, Leicester at least. You know, they're not going down without a fight. They have tried in this game, and it was always inevitable that Arsenal would go on to do mm. what they have done. But, Chris, it, it is. Maybe maybe Leicester need to stop being Watford. They need to settle down. Obviously, they couldn't, and I, I, again, not to say anything about it, but they, they couldn't help what happened with their last manager. Right. That was right. disgusting. They wrong, and, and they the made the right decision. The assistant they, manager, yes, like I say, didn't ask. She's come in and, and, and stepped up and taken on the role, and we thank her for that. And let's be honest with you, we wouldn't have expected Leicester to win this. So, you know, we can't say that she, she's done a bad job. Um, you know, Willie Kurt got us a, a, a 6-2 loss at the moment. <laughs> We're doing better than that. So, yeah, it, it's, it's just frustrating. It's just frustrating. She's not done a bad job. She steadied the ship when it needed steadying. Um, we, we haven't particularly um, had a choice in changing managers. Or what's going on here? I have no idea. Stopwatch broken. He's got his phone. Oh out. well, FA player works, mate. I feel your pain that your stopwatch really working. No, I think uh, it's his yeah, again, Chris, it's, it's transitional period, and sometimes a manager. Oh well, we saw it with um, Adam Sadler, didn't we? Didn't have a clue yeah. what to do, and just and essentially, she's probably just doing what she knows to do from what yes. Willie Kurt did: make subs, try and stay in the game. If we're still in the game, keep the players yeah. on, make subs late on, and and that's what happens. You know, it, we we can't really criticise um, uh, the the interim manager for what she's doing because she's only doing what she was no. taught. From her predecessor. No, it's just, so it's just maybe... frustration. I can say, it is, of course, it is. You know, we, I didn't, I didn't expect to win this game, and um, I, I know I'm having a moan about it, but that's fans were allowed to do it. Although you, I, I didn't think I was moaning yesterday in that show when you had to go at me and Dave. Well, you know, it's just the fact that we'd finally won a game. The relief was there, and all you did was. Well, we did this wrong. We did this wrong. Yeah, well, so that, that, no, it was more Dave. Watch. It was more Dave, to be fair. It yeah, was more yeah. Dave. Do you ever watch Match of the Day, though? They, yeah. <laughs> they look at the, yeah. the bad side. But no, Dave, Dave 
should have been happier. But I don't think I, I think Dave was the worst out of the two of us. Well, I thought Dave had just found out he'd got to put down his pet ants or something the way he was going on about it. I was like, Jesus Christ, Dave. Uh, how's your day going? Oh, run over me cat. Oh, cheers, Dave. Thanks for that. Um, oh, he didn't, you. by the way, folks. Didn't. And by the way, then we have been maximizing for a while now. Over a hundred of you in. I don't know how this all view accounts works. Maybe it's because we're stream sharing bomb to YouTubers because the numbers don't match up. All I'm saying is, if there is a hundred and sixty of you in, make sure you are. Well, preferably for me, what the majority of you. You know, if you get 53 of you over on LTID TV 2 and 53 of you watching here, that'd be fantastic as a looping header goes straight into the hands of cops there. Go and subscribe to the sector to LTID V2 and subscribe to this channel and do all that lovely stuff because today has been a heroic effort by Leicester and for 73 minutes and an heroic um by Leicester women's and a heroic effort by us both today to try and bring you this watch along in bit part. Thanks to Chrissy's stream working at half uh, after 30 minutes of mine kicking in after, well, I feel like I've jinxed it now. It was 1 0, and then I, I, I my stream. Oh, works <laughs> you, you walked straight into that one, mate. I, I did, I did, I did. I might as well own it and own it up. But if you could all make sure you're doing your lovely support and subscribing to this channel, as I'll be are honest you with you here. It, are you showing it to Facebook or Twitter as well? It's on my Twitter, but I don't get enough followers to do that. No, I think, oh, well, I'm going to say it, it might be the majority via there. But if you are on Brad's Twitter, X, whatever you call it these days, get onto YouTube. Get onto LTID TV too. Yeah, subscribe. that's what we want to support. It'll help our channel grow. As Arsenal have a chance coming down the left, but it's put out for a goal kick. And I, look, Chris, Arsenal have been the better team. They're obviously going to win this game now. There's only two minutes left plus probably a few minutes stoppage time here as Arsenal have a chance to go for a fourth. But I would say this is probably the fairest outcome, isn't it? It's a comfortable-ish win in terms of the scoreline for Arsenal. It took 77 minutes to make sure of it. Mm. But anything bigger than, than a three-goal margin would be probably harsh on Leicester for the defensive duties they've done and, and, and you know, trying to create chances themselves, Chris. Yes, um, I don't. I, mean, I don't know whether Leicester have actually had a shot on target uh, offside there for Arsenal. You know, I haven't seen many many shots. Their goalkeeper, apart from the odd corners, not really had an awful lot to do. Um, it's probably a fair outcome. Yeah, I would say three 0 is probably the fairest outcome. I, I don't think um, results that have gone by over the last few seasons against them would be um, would be merited because like you said Chris been very defensive resolutely dealt with the majority of what Arsenal had to offer until the 74th minute when Russo capitalised on a mistake in the midfield um, they've actually defended quite well it just is that lapse in concentration and I said it earlier when I was going through the results of the season Leicester have just had too many lapses in concentration and hopefully next season under a, under another manager under a better structure as Arsenal play some lovely football on the left hand side, it goes all the way across the goal. Shots blocked, it hasn't gone anywhere. But good, good for Leicester as Arsenal saw the ball ahead. Just wide. Six yard out. Cop wasn't getting there, but the chance is wide. And Leicester breathe a sigh of relief that it isn't for. I nearly talked it into existence, Chris. But yeah, maybe next season, Chris, that will be the one that really gets Leicester fans interested in it because. Um, you know, oh, oh God, that's a Daka misc. Near post. <laughs> it, it was really Chris. I'd like to call it in a, in a Nacho miss, but hey, you know, each hey, to the road. <laughs> hey, no. Goodbye, Chris. Thank you very much. Oh, I, I removed you and clicked it so quickly you came back in, no one even noticed. But no, for me, um, Leicester will... Seven probably, minutes. Seven minutes. Well, Cop did go down for a while. Um... Leicester fans may be hoping that if there is any more goals, it's only for Leicester. But um, it is all Arsenal at the moment, as it has been for the majority of this game on the ball. And they've won another look, corner. When a team comes up from the lower the division below, you don't always do an Ipswich. You don't always do a Leicester City and in two seasons win the league or a Nottingham Forest and do, do the same back mm. in the day. You know, it takes, you know, 
and we haven't got lots of money to throw at it. Nobody has in the Women's Super League. But it takes time to build that, you know. A, 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 Three a, short a, chance, a, wide, blasted wide. Sorry, Chris. A base, do you know what I mean? A base and, and build on that. And I think that's what Leicester are doing. Yes, we need to get a manager in. Um, and obviously, Jonathan Morgan left because um, we, we, we only just stayed up. Uh, well, he went before that, didn't he? But um, then the next lady went because yeah. he was struggling. Willie yeah. Kurt, if he hadn't, you know, well, rumours are rumours. You know, if he hadn't done what he did, uh, he, he'd still be there. So we've been unlucky on that side. Um, and like I say, to me, when I look at this season, I see an improvement from last season. And that's all you can hope for. Yeah, exactly. A season upon season of improvement. Look, we may never ever get to a point where we're expecting Leicester to challenge for uh, a European spot, let alone anything higher. But if they can keep slowly improving, I don't imagine, you know, again, I have to stress this point, Chris, they made a wholesale changes. There was a lot, a lot of players that left this club. A lot of players are new to this team brought in by our former manager. Leicester will not only be hoping, oh, that's got to be, wow, that was on a penalty, let's throw a chance in the box. Short save! Spilled by the goalkeeper, but they're going to complete the clearance here, Arsenal. It looks was that like a penalty? That should, be a, that should be called back for a penalty, surely. Yeah, I thought that. Absolutely ludicrous decision to not give it. But you know what, Chris? No, but be fair enough, team. Leicester were in possession. So you give the penalty. No, he's given a, he's given a free kick to Arsenal. What the fuck are you also. doing, referee? Well, Leicester were denied a Stonewall penalty in the FA Cup final. It seems that when they play Spurs' local rivals, Arsenal, the same outcome. Body checked out of it. But yeah, Chris, as I was saying, they made wholesale changes at the start of the season. They did really well. For a while, it looked like we could dream about Europe. Obviously, that's faded away over the season in this back end of it. But you'd imagine with a, a good hiring of a manager, a few neat changes as well, Leicester make a change now. Pell Gander comes on the French international for Takadara. So you've only got one international, um, Japanese international, Chris, to worry about, Mamiki. <laughs> um, oh, because that name's a lot easier to say, isn't it? <laughs> well, I can't help it, mate. As Arsenal also make a change deep in top of time. Funnily enough, it's a fox coming off, but it, she plays for Arsenal. And... Wine, Ryan. I'm not saying that name. The number, the number, whatever comes on. Wine, rather. You said it rather than me. Um, mm. but yes. Um, maybe next season, Chris. Settled personnel, keeping the majority of this squad together. Obviously, they know they're going to be in a WSL seed. Imagine that. That if that was a concern, these players they haven't got that concern anymore. They're going to be. You know, they're going to be um, in the WSL next season. So keep the squad together. Maybe some personnel change, like one or two. Yeah. Maybe some new signings to strengthen the depth of the squad. Who knows what this Leicester side could achieve in future seasons. Again, like I said, Chris, this is only right now, um, unless, and even if Leicester were to get a goal, I think it would still be. This should only be their third highest defeat, Chris. Now, mm. compared to seasons where I've told you they've lost 9-1, 8-1, 6 nil, 5 nils, 4 nils throughout the season, Chris. That is a big statement from Leicester. It's something they should be proud of saying that, look, yes, we've not done as well as our start hoped to provide, but we have gone on. And when we have lost, minus two biggish defeats from Arsenal and one to Chelsea, we've, we've not disgraced ourselves at any point when we have lost the season. No, no, not at all. Um... Like you say, we're staying up and that's the main thing. Yeah, and again, done this with games to spare. And OK, people might say, yeah, well, Bristol City only had six points. Other teams did better last season. Well, uh, Brighton went down. Not Brighton, sorry. The thing um, is, we're not one off bottom. West Ham are there. Yeah, exactly. We're not one off the bottom. West Ham are there. They only are a couple worth... of seasons ago, West Ham were uh, vying for European places. Yes, they were, Chris. Uh, they had actually a former Fox in Paul Koncheski as their boss, who again stepped yeah. down So uh, from that position last season. Um, so, yeah, I mean, and they're losing, or they were losing 2-0 to Man City. I haven't heard or seen... 3-0 they're losing now. 3-0 now. So, look, and you can imagine that could only get worse for them. And their game was 
15 minutes behind us. So there's still time for Man City to add a, add a few more here. We are into the last one minute and 10 seconds of and it's tight time. down the bottom, no pun intended. You know, Leicester get a win and they jump up to sort of the, up to seventh. There was a fair gap then to Tottenham on in sixth, but from seventh yeah. down to, 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 to tenth, um, yeah. Villa, Brighton, Everton, Leicester, there's only three points between us. Yeah, exactly, Chris. Well, until Arsenal did eventually take the lead on the 28th minute in this game, Chris, you know, Leicester were up at eighth, which mm. was far contrast. And again, you know, we know they're safe. Sorry, Anthony, but one of your four million red sides, Bristol City, are, are all but relegated. They need a huge miracle to stay up seven points behind 11th place West Ham. So both teams again, probably score. They, they, they came up. And when you come up, all you can hope for is 11th. Exactly. That's exactly and what did Liverpool Leicester. Liverpool came up and did well. But then there had been a, a former Premier League club anyway. So, you know, WSL club. So Yes, they have been in the division been before. more expected of them, possibly, you know. Yeah. But and again, the same happened to Birmingham. No, about two seconds, one second, seven minutes have gone. Well, we are, yeah, we are over the allotted time now. And the points have been secured pretty much since um, Russo made it to. Obviously, Mead added a third to secure the gloss on the victory. The Arsenal overall deserved, and probably by the same scoreline, Chris, they probably deserved it as well. But again, if you consider that three big defeats Leicester have suffered this season have been 6-2 against Arsenal, 3-0 against Arsenal and 5-2 against Chelsea. They only have Manchester United, Liverpool and West Ham next, which Manchester United, they drew with in the league. West Ham, they drew with in the league. Liverpool, they beat comprehensively in the cup, but did lose two, but only one in the league. You can't imagine that Leicester are going to get any more big defeats. It'd be nice to say the goal undefeated in the last feed. It'd be nice to pick me up for the end of the season, Chris, and you deserve it. As the full-time whistle does, unfortunately, blow yeah. here. Leicester have lost the game by three goals to nil. It was always going to be a big ass, Chris. It was more of an ask for us to be able to watch it than it was for Leicester to try and get a result from it, especially <laughs> for me. But uh, Leicester, unfortunately, have lost the game by three goals to one. And, and, probably deserve, and probably deserve to, but like I say, you know, it's the certain games in the Premier League that, uh, went, sorry, WSL, I should say, that you would expect. If we get promoted, when we went to Chelsea, no, probably not Chelsea, but we went to Liverpool, Arsenal, Man City, we would expect to lose. And it's the same with Arsenal, Chelsea, um, and Manchester City in the WSL. It's as simple as that. But look, glad I could help, Brad. I am going to have to shoot, unfortunately. Um, yeah, and unfortunately, yeah. And to be fair, thank you very much, Chris, for everything you've done today. Unfortunately, I'm going to be doing this for another couple of minutes. And I'm going to go myself because I I wasn't able to see the majority of this match, so I can't really discuss what I didn't really get to see apart from the two late Arsenal goals. So, Chris, thank you very much for that. Hopefully, next time you can just be in the background and you're not needed to. Um, to always here for today. you, mate. I'm always here. My brother from another mother. Thank you very much, mate. The other mother was an ugly one, but there well, we that, go. That's very true. But thank you very much, Chris. Thank you for, <laughs> for saving our bacons. 109 of you in. Please follow the links down below. If you're watching on my Twitter, get on over to our YouTube channels. Hit the like and subscribe. Your support, you do not understand how much we appreciate it. So please go and support our channels. If you have been watching it on my Twitter account, um, thank you very much, but please go and subscribe to my YouTube channel and LTID TV 1 and 2. Make sure you subscribe to both of them. As you can see across the bottom, that is where you can find it. And unfortunately, thank you very much to, for you all to join in, but unfortunately, it wasn't to be for Leicester. They were not able to overcome the odds and get anything from today's game against Arsenal. It was in the end, Arsenal women 3, Leicester City women nil. Goals from Mead uh, in the 28th and 77th minute and Russo in between uh, Mead's first and second goal. Secured the three points for Arsenal. Leicester already safe in the WSL. So that's one positive to take from it. This game doesn't affect Leicester's status 
in the Women's Super League. They will be there for a fourth season next season. Like I said, unfortunately, I like to do a little bit of a breakdown. But the only thing that had a breakdown was me and the FF player, uh, the FA player. So I normally do a breakdown of these, but I really can't talk about a game that I literally saw 20 minutes of. Um, but thank you to all of you that have tuned in throughout the show. I hope you have all enjoyed as best as we could this watch along. And again, wherever you've watched it for, thank you very much for your support. I hope you've shown support to both YouTube channels that are streaming this. And, and until next time, I think there's one more comment coming in. Um, I have no idea what that is, but we'll get rid of that. That's the last comment in. But thank you very much to everybody who watched and has joined in and hopefully enjoyed this watch long. I will be back, uh, if not beforehand, if there's any breaking news, I'll be back then. But I will be back for the, hopefully if it's able to stream another watch along here. And next week, uh, because we're busy with the men's football, there will be the LTID TV uh, football quiz, the Leicester City quiz. I'll have Dave on here next week during the week. Just got to iron out some details between myself and Chris on when that show is and when's best to do it so you can not, so we're not crossing over shows. Um, but yeah, make sure any of you in have subscribed, dropped a like on the video. Thank you very much for staying with me during this testing watch along as it has been. And until next time, as always, thank you very much and come on, you foxes. See you guys. These videos are so dreamy. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell this podcast is proud to be part of the talk sport fan network talk sport powered by fans that will conclude this evening's entertainment 